Um, something big we wanted to hit on, because I know this is a question a lot of people that want to get into the VA um, space want to know, and that is uh, how would they reach out to companies that are looking to hire a virtual assistant, or if they want to know if they do want to hire a virtual assistant, should they just reach out to emails, go straight for direct messages? Should they look to kind of have an offer that they can look to help them? Like, what are the ways that you think would be a great way to start a relationship as a virtual assistant looking for, you know, to get clients? Okay, so uh, this is really a great thing, and uh, because someone, if if someone decide to work as a virtual assistant, they uh, face problems like how they are going to get the clients. So uh, basically, uh, there's one one step that you need to cover is that you need to learn the things from yourself. Like you uh, should learn how what are uh, virtual assistant assistant does so you have your skills ready now the second thing is how to reach out uh, to the clients so uh, the main problem that uh, that most of the vs get so uh, there are different things uh, for now uh, the first thing like you should start with some freelancing platforms like fiber upwork uh, people per hour and a lot of dif different things because uh, there are more uh, freelancing platforms as, as well they are already built up People come on these platforms and you can just get started with, uh, from there. Uh, but I, I would say uh, that is not something really authentic because uh, you may uh, get blocked or you also need to pay some fees and there are, are uh, your, there are a lot of different competitors on, like I said, uh, in the field of virtual assistant, there are more than 30,000 people currently working as a virtual assistant. So uh, you need to take start with some freelancing platforms. Uh, so because uh, there's a lot of audience already there because people are already coming over there. So the second thing, once you gain some experience, once you have your portfolio built up, uh, you take some projects, you should... Uh, you should be uh, start moving uh, on social media. Uh, you should uh, be very active on all social media platforms. Like LinkedIn is a great platform to start with. Uh, you should uh, keep on posting your projects, your accomplishments, uh, and you should engage with the audience on uh, LinkedIn. And then uh, once you have your social media built up, like you have already posted uh, some projects, you have uh, shown what you are uh, actually working on, your skills and everything, You need, I think you should give some time to your social media. Uh, do not reach out uh, without building your social media profiles first because that would be just a waste of time. You need to build up your social media profiles maybe for one month or two months after completing some projects. Uh, like if you, uh, uh, even if you are not uh, getting projects from five or or something uh, from other uh, free, uh, freelancing platforms, you can personally work on some projects. Like for example, if someone uh, designs some basic uh, graphic design templates, they can uh, post them on social media. Like, hey, I built this template, and like they can come uh, post it as a, as their accomplishment. So that would be one thing. You can also. Uh, post some tips and tricks about uh, some services like calendar management or something like that. That would give you uh, some uh, reach and some audience. So once you have built up your social media profiles, you should start outreaching to the clients. Once you're outreaching, they will definitely look onto your profile. Like what these people is doing, uh, there should be some credibility in your work. You should uh, then uh, outreach to the clients via social media like Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and some other platforms. Like you can also reach out to the clients via email. But uh, to reach out via email and your social media, you need to build up your social media profiles first because no one is going to uh, believe on you like you uh, know this work without seeing your uh, past work or without seeing like what accomplished you have made. Once you have some accomplishment like me, uh, I I have been working as uh, on Fiverr for the last years. Now I have a, a large portfolio. I have a, a, a lot of different things. I have experience with the companies that I can share with my clients. So I, I'm building my website. I'm building my social media profile. So I uh, decided to move as a company uh, other than freelancing platforms as well. So uh, now once I will uh, reach out to the, my clients, uh, I, I'm reaching out actually. 
so uh, once i reach out to the clients i show them my portfolio hey this is my portfolio i have worked with these companies i have uh, worked with uh, with these brands so you can you have some work to show them so definitely they are going to get attracted uh, so but you need to uh, wait for for that moment uh, even if you are going to uh, take start with that step uh, you need to uh, put some extra effort like for example if i have i already have a lot of uh, projects completed uh, if i do outreach to the clients i don't need to work very hard like i i will sim simply search for the clients and then send them a message but if you are going to uh, take start with from the uh, beginning like you are a very new person you need to be very engaged with your clients you uh, you need to put some extra efforts so there are different uh, approaches on that as well for example uh, you need to build a list of the clients uh, like list of the people like uh, or maybe entrepreneurs who can be your clients you need to uh, see what they are posting uh, and uh, what are the things that they are working on and uh, you need to uh, get engaged with them uh, for some time maybe for one month like you need uh, you can post comments on their post like you can appreciate them or something like that they will see like uh, who is this person like uh, what what uh, maybe they can uh, also send you a direct message but if not you need to learn what is their brand what are this uh, what services are they uh, offering or uh, what are they working on so you need to learn that first and then outreach to them uh, like i can assist you with this particular thing if you are uh, simply outreaching like hey i'm offering these services if you need assistance uh, just let me know i uh, i think th uh, that would be just a waste of time you need to learn their brand first like what are they offering right. where you can fit in their brand how you can assist in them so maybe even uh, uh, if you generally out to the client you you may be sending messages to the 1000 people i think uh, you will not get more than two, three, two to three clients but with this approach even if you are approaching to the 50 clients i think you will get five to ten uh, or even more than ten uh, ten clients from that approach because you are uh, spending some time with them you are learning what are they offering where you can uh, uh, assist them so definitely this would uh, uh, make an impact on them how uh, these people uh, get uh, get to know us and uh, you're already saying like hey uh, hey man you are busy with this person uh, with this thing i can definitely assist you with this thing so that you can uh, focus on important stuff for your business so you need to uh, use this approach instead generally just uh like after learning a course just outreach to the people uh 1000 uh, sending dms to the 1000 people like i'm offering this service i i don't think uh people are going to trust you because they don't know uh, if you're really offering this service okay so you know you you need to really do something to build trust and that's really yes. good that you said that like it may take a month or two building social media because you know when you're reaching out you know however that may be when someone goes to your page or when they're looking at what you're doing if they don't see any content if they don't you know see any work that you've been doing even you know free work for your friends or family that have businesses you know that you could step in if somebody has a business you could say hey let me you know let me do your emails for you for you know for a week to show you know i, I want to help you and if you you know you do that yeah now you show some work now you can you know take some screenshots after you you know things are done for the day and now you have work with this company even if it's somebody that doesn't have a company even if it's you know they're cutting hair or um you know serving food out their house but you could take care of their emails. You can take care of some of their social media posting. That is something. So, you know, what you said is very true. Like come in with some work you've done. We call it building the house. That's that's my main thing. It's like if somebody shows you a house that's not built, you're probably not going to want to rent it or hotel or anything. But if the house is built, you see, okay, you go in there, it's two bedroom, two bath, nice kitchen. Now, you know, if they say, hey, rent this for a month, no matter the price, you may be interested because it's built so like you said like you were saying build a version of your house create some media do something before you ask for something which is exactly which is good. yeah but on freelance if you uh like want to put some less efforts uh, then freelancing platforms is the best option for you because uh people uh on social media you are outreaching to the people like you are saying uh, i i would assist you with this thing but on freelancing platforms they, uh, the clients they uh, do have some work and they they are looking for someone so uh, 
like you already have covered one step uh, on freelancing platforms that like they already have work for you so now you need to convince them why they should hire you so uh, there can be different things but it is a little bit uh, easier uh, than having clients on social media uh, because uh, on social media you need to build us but on five uh, or freelancing platforms uh, clients will al always reach out to you uh, like they uh, already have some work so uh, now to uh, excel on freelancing platforms you need to make a difference from other people for example like uh, if uh, I'm offering uh, services as a virtual assistant and, and a new person comes as a virtual assistant. So they need to uh, have some difference between me and them. So they need to build their profiles exceptionally. They uh, should come, uh, uh, they should post videos because uh, if people, uh, as I said earlier, 30, if 30,000 people are working as a virtual assistant, so I think there will be a very few people who have posted their video uh, by face. OK, right. so you need to make a difference. Like if there are 30,000 people, analyze them, what they are offering, how they're offering, how they write their descriptions, how uh, they are, uh, they have given their pricing plans. So you need to, uh, if you uh, need to cross them, you definitely uh, need to uh, work more than them. Like then you need to uh, have a improved description, improved thumbnails, improved videos and pricing plan. So because you are already cr crossing some uh, a list of people. So uh, in this way, you can also excel on freelancing platforms. For sure. Now, something that we love to get into because is, you know, I say something that I've always been into since I've been young is is tech, right? Tech is is huge. It's a huge thing, and we know that. Of course, we talk virtual, so we know that you know using technology is a big thing for you know brands and you know experts like yourself. So when you're in the tech, um, excuse me, in the VA space, what tech are you using to you know help the process and help these brands that you're working with you know help the process run a lot smoother are there you know messaging platforms that you're using are there other you know technologies like canva for example like what technologies are you using that you feel really work best for you guys when working with these companies 